I had a Patreon supporter ask me a really important hard surface modeling question. He asked me, Aryan, when you're making a sophisticated hard surface object like this camera right here, which I made in tutorial a long time ago, when you're making something like this, how do you approach this? How do you decide where you're going to start? How do you rank parts of this object into sort of hierarchy so you know what you're going to do first, what you're going to do after that? Describe to me your workflow, Aryan, please, would you? And that's what I'm going to talk to you about here today. I got a very important tip for you. I'm going to tell you something which I think is probably the most important thing that you have to keep in mind when you're approaching something which requires you to handle your topology properly, okay? And I made this camera right here in a video a long time ago. I would love to tell you that I'm going to put the link in the description, but every time I say that, I forget. So just go to YouTube, type in Aryan security camera, blender, modeling, whatever. The, you, you're going to find it, all right? It's somewhere out there if you want to see the whole thing. But there's one thing in particular that I want to point out to you when you're modeling something like this. And this is going to give you a sort of framework that you can use anytime you're modeling something else. So pay attention. This shit is really important, okay? Now, before I tell you what the actual tip is, I need you to understand something because otherwise this is not really going to make any sense to you, okay? And this is where most people fuck up. This is why most people never really get anywhere as 3D artists. But you're going to see me make these sort of projects, these sort of high level modeling projects and stuff to, to a lot of people seems like, you know, I'm doing the impossible. But the problem is that you guys see me do this shit in my videos and you'll see me make this camera in like 30 minutes. I hope you understand that it doesn't actually take me just 30 minutes to do this. What you guys don't see is what happens behind the screen. So here's how what I do first anytime I'm doing something like this. What happens is I'll just sit there for an hour, two hours, we are looking at pictures and shit taking notes, you know, pen and paper, writing shit down, drawing shit up to just so I can understand how the geometry is going to work in my head. You have to sit down and make a game plan. Okay. You have to figure out how you're going to create whatever it is that you got to create. You have to pay attention to the different parts or different elements of an object. Then you have to think about what's going to happen. And if you do this a certain way, how, what's going to happen later down the line. So you really got to make a plan for yourself. And then what happens after that is I try something and usually it doesn't work, okay? And then I'll try something else and it fucks up and then I'll try something else and maybe that's gonna work. And that's the technique that I'm gonna show you in my video, all right? So just keep in mind, guys, that when you're making something, when you're doing any sort of project, really when you're doing anything in life, it's gonna take trial and error, okay? So you gotta stay focused, you gotta keep trying. To, but let me, get, let me get to the point for what I'm trying to tell you to get, just to be a little bit more specific, okay? Let's say you're looking at a model like this, a million different details, the topology is rather sophisticated, okay? So you really got to make sure that you do your topology correctly. If you watch Thomas Collins' videos, you understand that you have to be able to have the skill to keep everything fused together. You want your shit to be connected on your model if you want to achieve a high level of realism. Sometimes you're not going to have to do that. Your shit's going to be separated. But a lot of times, if you're trying to work with topology properly, if you want to do a high quality model, you got to be able to keep shit fused together. And when you're doing that, it's super important that you understand how what you're doing right now is going to affect your geometry later on, further down the line. You really got to keep this in mind because it can, it can completely fuck everything up. All right. So just as an example, Let's say you want to model this object right here. And as you can see, this is all supposed to be connected over here. Let's say you want to model these holes. And just just to clarify, these are not actual model holes because I made these with a texture because what I'm about to show you is a stupid way to do it. But let's just say hypothetically, for whatever reason, you were going to do this. You were going to use a method like this. Let's say that you want to model these holes, okay? And that's all supposed to be connected to this object down here. Well, what's most likely to happen if you're intelligent you're going to first start by adding a little plane like this, okay? And then you're going to divide that plane with enough loop cuts or with enough subdivision, with enough levels of subdivision. You want to have a specific number of geometry here so that these edges are going to align with the little holes that you have to have here, okay? So you really got to keep this in mind. Or maybe you even want to use an array modifier. And then maybe you're going to use your, you're going to select a section like this and you're going to do select, check or deselect. And then maybe you want to deselect every other, every other uh, vertex, and then you're gonna do Control Plus, okay? And then you're gonna inset this, and that's how you're going to make your holes. I'm not actually trying to keep them aligned because this is just a stupid example, just so you can understand what I'm talking about. But you need a specific amount of geometry to make sure that these holes are going to be aligned with the reference image, with whatever it is you're trying to creating, whatever it is that you're trying to create. And when you do something like this, you added lots of geometry, and then you're going to realize at some point that well. Now you have this number of edges over here, which is not necessarily the right amount of edges that you're supposed to have to create this part down here, because now you got maybe 
92 edges over here, but you're supposed to have only 16 to create, and it just doesn't work that way. So you're, the mathematics don't add up. So if you're hyper intelligent, you're going to keep this shit in mind before you start doing anything. You're going to have to sit down a lot of times. I'm over here using a calculator. You're going to see me in my videos. I got a calculator on the side. I'm doing math and shit. I'm doing fractions. I'm calculating all this different shit because you really got to keep this in mind. So you want to make sure that whatever amount of edges you're going to use for this is going to be suitable for creating the next part because before you know it you spend an hour making the holes and now that shit's not going to work when you're doing this thing down here and it's just before you know it, you're using booleans to try and cheat your way through and then it's just a disaster and then you're going to go no this is not for me i don't understand how people do it i'm just going to quit it. i'm just going to give up and this is where most people really fuck up because they don't understand that when you're doing something like this first of all you have to have a superpower of being able to predict the future, which really comes from experience, from fucking up a million times like I did, okay? And you just got to have persistence. You got to understand that anytime you're doing something, you got to try multiple different things until something eventually works out. Don't just give up just because... The, so, imagine Kobe Bryant, when he was shooting a three-pointer, he shoots a shot, he doesn't go in and he goes, okay, well, this is not for me. Fuck it, I'm going to go play video games, okay? Th that's not going to work. What happens is, okay, he missed. All right, what did I do wrong? Maybe this. Try another one, try another one, try another one. He'll shoot a million shots. He'll shoot 10 million shots if he has to. Eventually, he's going to figure out how to do it right. And that's how we became one of the greatest of all time, right? That's how it goes. If you don't have this sort of mindset and anything that you're doing, you're fucked. You're never going to make it because you're just going to give up the first time it doesn't work out. And you're going to blame it on talent. You're going to blame it on genetics. You're going to blame it on having a bad computer or whatever the case may be. And then you're going to end up playing video games. You're not going to get anywhere. So you got to have this sort of mindset to a degree. Now, I'm not trying to turn this shit into some sort of motivational video. I'm just letting you know this is what it is. This is how you have to think when you're modeling something like this. And I want to bring this to your attention because I think a lot of people are not aware that this is kind of how you have to approach these things. You really got to have a little bit of grit, okay? And then also when you're doing stuff like this, you really want to pay attention to some of the most important topology principles, which I always talk about in my videos. And for example, when you're modeling stuff, you want to make sure that all your geometry is consistent. You want to have, you want to have uniform geometric density, let's say, okay? You want all your edges and faces to be approximately the same size. You want to have everything in a nice sort of grid. You want to have shit flowing nicely. You want to try and avoid stuff like this where you got stretched out quads and stuff like that. This is going to lead to all sorts of problems. These are the things that I talk about in my videos all the time. And this is also one of the most important principles that I described and talked about in the topology section of my Blender ebook. So if you want to learn more about these sort of techniques that I'm talking about here, then check out my Blender ebook. There's a link for that below. And if you have any questions about this type of stuff, let me know in the comments. And if you want me to check out your particular situation, I talk about this type of shit with my patrons all the time. So check out my Patreon. I can help you out. And if you want to talk to me, ask me other questions about AI, economics. Is AI going to take your fucking job? How do you get clients? This is the kind of questions that people ask me about. And this is the type of shit I love to talk to people about on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. I'll, you, you're going to see what I'm doing and all this other shit. But anyway, like the video. Let me know what you want to see next. Subscribe to the fucking channel. I'll see you in the next one.